The story of the long awaiting for the coming of Christ is told in the words of Isaiah the prophet, who of all the prophets, sacred scripture speaks most directly and explicitly of the Messiah. In this prophecy, Isaiah speaks of the Lord, who exalted his children only to have them despise him. He speaks of Israel, who hath not known the Lord and his people, who hath not understood. And he continues, They have forsaken the Lord. They have blasphemed the Holy One of Israel. They have gone backwards. The words of the prophet should make a deep impression on our hearts at the beginning of the holy season of Advent. Who of us can hear without trembling this voice of the Lord, who is despised and unknown even at the very time when He is to come and visit His people? If today you hear His voice, harden not your hearts. The story is being retold. The church, in accents of solemnity, in colors of penitential purple vestments, in notes of solemn music, is repeating for us the burden of her message. Christ is coming to save the world, which, as Isaiah said, is sickened. The whole head is sick, and the whole heart is sad. Christ is coming to judge the world, for the powers of heaven shall be moved, and then they shall see the Son of Man coming on a cloud with great power and majesty. When these things begin to come to pass, look up and lift your heads, because your redemption is at hand. Now is the hour for us to rise from sleep, to save the world from chaos, to rescue souls from materialism, and to save them for the all-powerful dignity of incorporation in Christ's mystical body. We shall do this by beginning to reform ourselves, by spending Advent prayerfully, by casting off the works of darkness, and putting on the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed Savior of men, you prepared us, your servants, for long years by prophecies and symbols to foretell of the coming of the Anointed One, the Messiah, who would redeem the world and reopen for us the gates of paradise. This Advent, we pray and beseech you to accept our humble offering of preparation of our bodies and souls. May each day be for us a step, each step a prayer, each prayer a pilgrimage toward Bethlehem, with Jesus and Mary and Joseph. Help us to pray fervently, to walk valiantly, and to persevere to the end. You who live and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen.